Hey, so I have a slide um, that focuses on clauses, and we're just going to do a brief overview of clauses, just in case you're struggling with that at all. Alright, so, clauses. A clause, not a claw, is a group of words containing a subject and a verb. And there are multiple types of clauses, and we're going to go over a few of them. First, we have an independent clause. An independent clause is a complete sentence which is why it's independent. It's complete, it can stand on its own. An independent clause contains the main subject and verb of a sentence. So the example here that we have is the cat ran quickly across the room. The cat ran can stand on its own, um, which makes it an independent clause. Uh, quickly across the room can't stand on its own, which would make it a dependent clause, which is the next slide. A dependent clause cannot stand alone as a sentence, and it must be connected to an independent clause. So the example we have is, it doesn't matter who my teacher was. The first half, it doesn't matter, is an independent clause. It can stand by itself. But the second half, who my teacher was, um, can't stand alone as a sentence. It doesn't make sense. Uh, so that makes it a dependent clause. It relies on it doesn't matter to finish the clause, to make it a, a complete sentence. And then we have an adjective clause, which is a dependent clause that modifies a noun. It describes, identifies, or gives further information about a noun. So the example that we have is the two children fought over the toy that bounced across the floor. So the noun is the toy and what's being modified is the noun which is the toy and that bounced across the floor is the adjective clause that modifies the word toy. So here's a quick review. A clause is a group of words containing a subject and a verb. An independent clause is a complete sentence. It contains the main subject and the verb of a sentence. A dependent clause is not a complete sentence. It must be connected to an independent clause.